Hey, and welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how I put together my monthly minimalist bullet journals. I used to make elaborate ones on notebooks with multiple pages, but it wasn't effective because it was too much effort to keep up. So I've condensed it down to one page. So I'm creating the next notebook in the sequence here. So I have December 2020, January 2021, and I'm now going to add February. It doesn't matter which one because it's only going to be one page. View templates, and I want this to be landscape. So I'm looking for dots s. Flip it, and let's get started. What I like to do first is create a header. This is by no means going to be perfect, but I just like to have some type of doodle that I add at the beginning and I can add stuff throughout. So this is the highlighter but you can use gray or other colors and you can obviously make much better designs than this, but this is just getting me started. February, 2021 and now in black. I used the background to make it a little more dynamic. And I also make a lot of mistakes. This is how I keep track of what day it is. So I do 1 through 28 for February. Whew, wasn't sure if I was going to make that. Um, you can also start from the bottom and work your way up to make sure you have enough space. So the first is a... Monday. Draw some squares to try to make one as square as possible. You're going to be reusing this over and over and over again. So I'll delete the other two I don't like. And we're left with this one which I'm going to copy and paste it on the days that I want to work out, for example. So Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, I like to work out. So I will add a little checkbox for me to go through the month with. And this is my way of tracking what I actually accomplish. And it also encourages me to come back and check to make sure I do those things. So the first one is workout. And then volunteering and I like to read library books but <laughs> I read them very slowly so I want to make sure I keep myself on track and these can be really anything that you would like this is how I keep track of each topic So add as many as you want to accomplish. Also, you can copy once you have one week down and paste so you don't have to go through and find each individual day. Yeah, just add as many topics as you want to cover. Next, I want to create more titles, so I use gray and medium. I found that if you copy this and then space them out around six or seven lines down, it will allow me to have enough space to write some of my other goals in that are very specific and not task oriented. 
I found that after doing a lot of these, I only wanted to have four main topics. Professional, growth, health, and home. From there, I'm gonna copy more of these little squares and uh, create a little checklist for professional, growth, health, and home. And then once I create my little checklist, you know, I don't wanna keep doing it individually, I'll just copy it, try to make my life a little bit easier and paste it. And by the end of the month, I usually add a lot more than just three in each category. There are a lot of things I wanna do and this always helps me do it. On the right hand side, I like to write important dates. So coming up, we have Chinese New Year and we also have Valentine's Day. I also like to write in birthdays or important days I don't wanna forget or trips I have, stuff like that. So just feel free to write anything in. The most important thing is to make this most effective to you. So try multiple iterations. This is an example of what I do each day. So Monday, I'll need to work out, Tuesday, read a library book, Wednesday, work out, etc. Sometimes I complete them and sometimes I don't, but it's important for me that I stay consistent and come back to this one page just to remind myself of my goals. And that's all for today. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more videos on productivity and quick how-tos.